I've often asked myself what it is about racehorses that gets inside of us to the point of obsession. And I've come to the realization, it's the one game that allows us to dream. We all need to escape from the hurly-burly of our frenetic commercial lives, and a thoroughbred is the best antidote known to man. He carries the grace and the nobility of the greatest creature on earth. He gives us the chance to compete when our bodies no longer can, and he takes us to places we never believed. Igogo for Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Maktoum. Igogo wins the Gauteng for these guineas. Often enough, he returns to our pockets considerably more than he cost. Just last year, Summerhill gave racing its biggest earner of the season. We gave our sport its winning most racehorse in history, and the Victor Ladorum at the richest racing carnival in the world was also a graduate of the same historic palace. I grew up in one of the remotest places in South Africa. From the time I was potty trained, horses were part of my life. I don't remember a potty occasion without a Duff's Turf guide clutched in my hands. But in all my dreams, I never believed I'd own a horse good enough to take on the rulers of countries at the richest race meeting on earth. That horse was Mullins Bay, who carried the Summerhill colors against the best in the world and settled his considerable cost at the races. You can imagine, there's a good deal of Summerhill sentiment riding on this horse's back right now. And on the evidence of his first foals, he can handle the load. He's given us one of the best first crops we've had the pleasure to be associated with. The greatest racing agency in the world rated Stronghold the best handicapper in Europe the very best in Europe. A glance at the Australian stallion logs reveals the influence of the great Dane Hill and his sons over the affairs of our sport down under. Stronghold was one of the best sons of Dane Hill ever. Not long ago, it would have been unthinkable that such a horse would join the ranks of our stallions. Yet this year, we'll get the chance to see his youngsters at a national sale. Ravishing is the first and the best son at stud of the best South African stallion of all time. His pedigree and his looks made Ravishing the most expensive yearling from Jetmaster's first crop. And Jeff Woodruff's rating of him as one of the best horses he's trained guaranteed his place on the Summerhill roster. That he is the point of perfection the thoroughbred has reached after 300 years of meticulous selection is undeniable. The question is, how good are his foals? and you'll only know when you've seen them. For those of us who still want to dream, 2011 has reminded us again of the value of what it means to grow up at some end. Hollywood Boulevard Motors own Hollywood Boulevard and Papa Figaro are in fine form. Hollywood Boulevard by four legs. And she's got the South African Phillies Classic feel stone cold. Igugu, as priceless as an uncut diamond. She's the queen of the turf. Igugu wins by seven lengths. The best upbringing of a racehorse known to man has delivered up six consecutive Breeders' Championships. And once again, two of the very best racehorses in the land.